What's up? What is up? What's going on? What's going on, Beef Small? Why? Why are you doing this? Like, <sighs> honestly, if someone told me she was Nigerian, I wouldn't. I wouldn't deny it because I'm sorry, this is fraudulent activity. Like, this is a scammer activity. Because how are you doing? Like, some people may not may not see the scammer qualities in this, but I see it as a Nigerian. I see it. Scammer qualities. What's good, everyone? It's your favorite straight creative show. Back at it again with another video. <laughs> So today we're gonna to be talking about Big Simone and the past activities of hers in the last month, pretty much. And it's gonna hit home because I actually like enjoy B Simone's personality. I think she's really cool. I think she's kind of funny and everything. Like I think she's like a really cool person and she's an inspiring person with her story, but at the same time, there's she also has flaws as well, right? She's human. We can't forget that she's human but there's been certain things that have been rubbing the public the wrong way about her since she is in, now in the public eye and everything a lot of people have an issue with her with some of the things that she's been doing some of the things that she's been saying now let me give you some background this morning is an upcoming rapper comedian actor who moves social media pretty much with her inspiring story and everything like that where at the age of 25, she moved to Atlanta to chase her dreams and um, basically manifest her goals and everything. Now, people started to take a notice of her literally around, I would say, March ending April because she wanted to be able to manifest a million dollars in her bank account for her birthday because she wanted to become a millionaire. Now, that is very ambitious and that's great and everything, but I'm also told that it's not really too safe to go ahead and start talking about the things you're trying to manifest because evil eye and everything like that. And I feel like this could probably be an example of that and I'll explain that later on. So with that being said, she ended up manifesting a million dollars that she wanted and everything by launching her makeup line and also selling her book and her also doing smaller jobs along the sides and basically documenting it on social media and people started following along and and contributing money to support her and everything for her goals and her dreams it's very inspiring to many black girls out here seeing a another black girl out here wanting to manifest their dreams and their goals and working hard and being inspirational so people like are just drawn to that she's gone ahead to do skits freestyle songs she's also featured in um nick cannon's wild and out on mtv and also she had her own show on Zeus called, uh, I believe, sorry, Are You B's Boyfriend? Anyways, we're not going to talk about how corny that is, but it, hey, she got her own show. That's cute. So some people would say her personality is quite overwhelming and everything as she's like kind of loud in terms of her caricature or her character the way that she goes ahead to project herself in the public and everything like that and she kind of uses a very high-pitched voice whenever she's channeling her character or whatever and i get it it's a gimmick like i understand it like you know what i mean like especially people who are actors and comedians and stuff like that they have certain characters that they form into whenever they're in front of the camera so i totally understand that but baby girl like it's not every day it's not every day you're grown it's not every day. Like, I'm not coming here to bash her or whatever, but like, you're 30, baby girl. Like, you're 30. Now, there's three specific situations. Three, not one, not two, but three situations that she was in in the last month, my G. The last month that caused people to look at her sideways. Now, everyone knows pretty much we're in the middle of a revolution right now where Black Lives Matter has been the forefront of many protests and many causes in our last month of living if you're living under a rock or whatever right so a lot of people have been i guess waiting and anticipating for a lot of celebrities and brands and stuff like that to speak on what's going on and basically have a stand on what's going on because it's a really big issue and knowing the people that you care about and you love that you put your money into and everything like that people that inspire you 
are basically thinking the same way as you is kind of uplifting if anything and it reaffirms the fact that what you're doing is right now people weren't really seeing her speak out on anything that was going on it was kind of like it was business as usual and i guess people had been prodding her and at direct adding her multiple times in her comments saying why aren't you saying anything about what's going on right now why aren't you saying anything about the protest right now i'm gonna put some tweets up above of what she said pretty much verbatim and when I tell you, everyone just drug her by her edges, baby girl, like it was, it wasn't cute. It wasn't cute at all. And I kind of understand what she was saying because she doesn't want to talk out of anger and she professes that she's Christian and everything. But sis, with some of the points that she said, I was, I was kind of rattled because she was making it seem as if God's some peaceful man and like, he doesn't like, like us talking out of anger and he doesn't like us doing this, doing that. I'm like, yes, I do understand. God doesn't want us to talk out of anger. He never wants us to talk out of anger. He wants us to talk with love and peace and joy and everything. But saying that you don't want to be projected as an angry black woman but you still feed into the stereotype of black women being loud and being over sexualized in your character on a daily basis is not it it's not it because you're literally like count you're what's the word i'm looking for you are contradicting yourself yeah so many verses in the bible i'm gonna put them up above where pretty much God was literally telling the people to go ahead and speak up for what was right, to help the people who cannot speak for themselves, to do things to help other people. So you're telling me over here that you don't feel like protesting because it's not like, okay, I'm just going to leave that because everyone's walk with God is different. Everyone's way of interpreting the Bible is different. Please comment down below. Tell me what you think about that. All of my people who are Christians or just in general who have an opinion on Black Lives Matter. Do you think it was right with what she said? Do you think it was wrong with what she said? Do you understand what she's trying to say? If not, please comment and tell me what you think. And then the second situation that she was in was the preference for guys. Now, this was pretty recent. But pretty much, she, I believe she was on a um, talk show with Nick Cannon, basically talking about her preference in guys. And she was basically saying that she wants a guy who is an entrepreneur and not a nine to five worker, which in my personal opinion, I don't have an issue with. I, I mean, that's her preference, right? But the way she said it was very wordy and in a sense rub people the wrong way that people started getting upset like i saw women and men getting upset by her comments and i'm just sitting here like it's her preference though like i understand some people can get upset but like if you don't fit it then move along i don't i don't understand why you're getting upset but at the same time like someone was saying i think it was lovely t saying that like you going ahead to say like certain things about like nine to five workers but you used to be a nine to five worker and those are the people who are even funding the lifestyle that you now have by selling by um what's it called buying your books by going ahead to buy your products and everything like that it makes no sense like you're literally prodding these people to go ahead to buy your products and buy your merchandise but then you're discrediting them in the same sense the part that made me laugh was when she came back again to talk about her preference and then sis went ahead to say that she doesn't care what kind of entrepreneur you are as long as you're an entrepreneur. And I'm just sitting here like, in my Nigerian head, I'm thinking, eh, what? No, don't be saying that. You cannot do that. You cannot say that. Because if I'm thinking some Nigerian guy is just going to come with a certain kind of je ne sais quoi, say a little something, something to you. And everything you're gonna be swept off your feet by him and then boom all of a sudden you're caught up in his scam and this guy is a fraudulent man and then when the FBI starts knocking at your door they're gonna seize all your belongings because they're gonna believe it's connected to him and you're gonna be left broke and then what are you gonna do go back to a nine-to-five to fix your life so don't be saying you just want anything. You just want any kind of entrepreneur. You just want a rapper. You don't care what he does. You can take a drug dealer. Uh, uh. Okay. It's okay. No problem. No problem. 
It's her preference, Sha. You can, she can do whatever she wants. But listen, your preference can... Hmm. There's so many people who have preferences out here. And it's based off crooked thinking. Let's be honest. All these people being like, oh, I like light skin girls, but it's a preference. No, it's not your preference. It's not your preference. It's what the social media has provided for you to ingest that you've decided to take. It's not a preference. Please. Preference is something from within that you know that you like. That you like. Not something someone else fed to you. But anyways, that's another topic for another day. And then, last but not least, her book. Now, she's really big on manifestation, right? And that's cool. That's great. I'm big on manifestation too. I pray, I fast, I do all of those good things that help my spiritual life and everything. And help me as a person. Prison prison wow so she basically made a guide a book a journal if you will on how to manifest your dreams and your goals and everything now for someone who hasn't written a book before i'm pretty sure it's really difficult to write a book all right and with the quickness that she did it i knew there was going to be something that was going to be off about it like let me not lie now the book started selling really well and that's great and all but then people started to receive the book and started saying it was cheaply done it looks like a magazine it looks like a high schooler did it and everything like that she started discrediting the book majorly and at first i was like i don't understand and then i saw a video i saw a video on twitter basically showing us how the book looked and i was like oh 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 what b simone what's going on what is going on it was like i was looking at it i was like nah this can't be it this no like i i understood like certain parts where it was like emails and stuff like that but like i'm seeing like the temp i thought it was like gonna be an actual book book but it was more like a scrapbook a journal and i don't understand that in any way shape or form i don't get it and let's be honest the book is 30 dollars shipping if you're in canada it's probably gonna be 15 right 30 plus 15, 45 dollars, 45 plus dollars to get a book that is scrapbook material, scrapbook material that's cheaply done. Okay, let me not. Let me not. Let me not. Cause I feel like I feel like I don't know if uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Like, how can I'm telling you scammer qualities right here? Okay. And then during the weekend, cause I wanted to talk about this before, but I had to wait. Cause I'm like, nah. If I talk about this and it's not right, I'm gonna get upset. Tell me why during the weekend a couple people started coming out saying that she's plagiarizing content in her book and there were specific bloggers and stuff like that who were talking about it saying that they plagiarized she plagiarized it she took some of my content and she didn't give me credit for it and blah 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 and i was like whoa like i'm pretty sure that's like a legal issue now if you're plagiarizing people's work and everything like i feel like that's something you learn in high school bro like that's not even university like, I remember my good school teacher was telling me, telling us that, oh, yeah, you're not allowed to plagiarize this, you're not allowed to plagiarize that, you're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do that, or else you get kicked out of university. And then tell me why sis is, like, 30 years old making a book and she plagiarized some of the stuff. Huh? Like, maybe, maybe, maybe there was a miscommunication, maybe there was some issues, but, like, no, 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 no. I, I, I refuse to believe that you didn't know that that was, like, someone else's content. Because it's already hard out here for young creators to be building up their platforms and doing a whole bunch of stuff. And then you're out here stealing their content. Be Simone. What's going on, sis? What is going on? <sighs> Anywho. And now she's looking at a lawsuit. She's looking at a lawsuit. And tell me why someone like Meek Mill is coming out here to defend her. Not even knowing the whole situation. Saying that, oh, pretty much... Da, 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 da. you shouldn't be bashing black women out here and everything like that it, it, it was just an honest mistake and then i don't know why you guys are getting on her and i'm like didn't you just have beef with drake a couple okay you know what <laughs> let me stop 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 okay sorry for the quick outfit change and everything like that you know y'all like 
yesterday was my late i wasn't able to film any more content but i am back again to give you guys my opinion on this whole b simone situation now i know i'm goofy and i throw a lot of shots but at the end of the day i'm not a hateful person i can give my opinion and i can say what i need to say without disrespecting the person and in this situation is definitely a cautionary tale slash an example that you can see that yes you're an influencer yes you're getting big but in order to be a strong entrepreneur in order to know what you're doing you have to get your facts straight you have to know what you're doing in order for other people to understand who you are as a person if that makes any sense as you guys can see in this situation b simone was saying that she didn't know the ins and outs of everything that was going on in her book which is kind of hard to believe personally because it's your book like you decided to put in your time and your work and everything like that so it's kind of just like do we really know who you are could you just continue to be a fraud and everything like that and i'm pretty sure she's probably not she just made a couple honest mistakes or she just missaid certain things and things were misconstrued and so far it ended up messing up her achievements and the things that she's done in the past because of the things that she's doing right now pretty much in this situation it's very hard for me to judge because i do not like judging black creatives in general i know it's really hard for a lot of us to even progress and to be able to get brand deals and for us to even be making money in general and then on top of that she's a black woman so i know that there's like trials and tribulations on top of problems on top of like situations that she's gonna have to deal with so i'm not gonna be here saying all sorts of smack about her but at the same time i feel like she can take a lot from this because it's one thing to plagiarize but it's also another thing that people don't find you credible or people don't find you like an honest person right My honest advice for this whole entire situation to be simone or to anyone else who is looking at this situation and couldn't see certain things that they can learn from it and everything like that i would definitely say you need to sit down and make a solid plan for the things that you want to do especially if you're already known in the public in the public eye you can't go ahead to just do things and just do them on the whim especially when it comes to doing concrete things like books or businesses and stuff like that you need to have concrete plans and pretty much have a good team behind you i feel like if her team was as solid as she says they were as she said that they were sorry this whole entire situation could have been avoided but because some people were slipping up in her team and i feel like she even said this too that's the reason why the ball was dropped at the end of the day people are not going to even look at her team they're going to look at her because she's the face of everything right so right now honestly i feel like she can i, I don't okay how can i put this i feel like yes she can go ahead and use this situation to her advantage to do something else but at the same time capitalizing off of it does not look good as well so finding a different way a different approach to everything would definitely help her i feel like she just needs to go back to the drawing board and really concretely see how she can fix the situation without too many allegations or too many lawsuits behind her back right now once again thank you so much for watching if you have any comments any comments at all please comment down below if you like this content please like and if you also like to see more of my beautiful face please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time i post thank you thank you thank you once again and remember god made you special and he loves you very much and you can do anything you set your mind to and that's all period hey